I always like to ask first, you get a telescope. And these bottles are just spectacular. How long have you been doing this? Uh, bottles, oh, on and off for 40 years. 40, only 40 years, huh? Well, it seems. I used to do a bit of knotting and then I'd pack up for a couple of years, depending on what job I was doing. Oh, uh-huh. You know. You had time I, to do the other stuff, What huh? ship I was on. Were you in the Navy? Yeah, 31 years. Only 31 years? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure whether I liked it, so I left. You wasn't sure until you... you <laughs> no, you go to a ship and then there would be a call to do some decorative work, so I'd do some. Another mm. ship you go to, there wouldn't be, or you wouldn't have the time. But I've mainly been doing bottles since since I left the Navy. That's unbelievable. Beautiful work. And now you're covering a... Uh, well, somebody wants their walking stick covered. So you're just covering out their walking stick, huh? Yeah. That's a lot of cord. Yeah. Well, I hope he's going to pay me for it. <laughs> Well, you, cord, just, I mean. <laughs> you just tell them you run out. <laughs> hey? Tell them you're going to run out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'll have some over, actually. I'm only going as far as that. I uh, know. You want to start long, huh? Four times the length, yeah. I Yeah, I understand. That's what I go on. And I, uh, so that's how you figure it? let me down once. <laughs> Four times the length? It's all done out of weaving cord. If you can see that. It's a picture frame. Absolutely spectacular knot work. It's all hand, all hand done. Hey! What are you doing, you? That's okay. And here's a beautiful knot board. Spectacular work. Those of you in America that don't know me, okay. my name's Jeff Wyatt. I'm the new president that's taken over from Brian Field. Um, how I came into knotting, more than anything, I was a ship's engineer, engineering officer at sea, and we had a Norwegian seaman on, on one, one of the ships, and he used to make ships in bottles, and his rope work was immaculate. He used to splice cotton, and it was beautiful, and I just got fascinated by what this guy was doing. And that was some 40 odd years ago, and I've been tying knots ever since. And I just love love what I'm doing. Well, let's talk about the guild today. Now you're the you're the new president. Yeah. And t tell me about tell me about the guild as it is right now. We are getting lots of members from all over the world, okay. um, and lots of different branches. 
um, Australia, New Zealand, Tasmania, mm -hmm. the States, France, Germany, right. Norway. It's it's spreading quite a lot. Um, How many members are there worldwide now, roughly? Uh, give or take a, a few. There's a, it's about 1,200 members now. 1,200 members. Um, of which is, I would say, 400 odd is uh, coming from the states. If the worldwide membership is equal par now, I think, to the English membership. Mm -hmm. So I think the English membership is about 1,000, I mean, 550-ish. Uh -huh. Right. And the worldwide combined membership mm -hmm. is roughly the same figure. So we are truly international. Mm -hmm. And when you talk to the members today and potential members, what what is the most important thing you want them to know about the Guild and why they should perhaps join it? The most important thing, um, which is, I think, should never die, is to retain the old traditional sailor, mm -hmm. uh, the sailor's art, because it is a dying art with the modern way of everything is pressed together or manufactured now, like the natural splicing and uh, mm -hmm. rope work mm -hmm. is dying up because at one stage it used to be the sailor's indentures by his rope work. That's right. Now everything is mass produced and manufactured. It's dying out. So my main aim is to keep the old traditions alive and to keep the education there more than anything, to keep these mm -hmm. traditions alive. We owe a lot to those uh, indentures that uh, live those hard lives and uh, oh, brought the commerce of the world to, uh, you know, to us absolutely. over the years, and, and we're kind of on the on the shoulders of those giants, aren't That's we? That's right. Yeah. I mean, if if you have a look at it now, a lot of their work still carries on. Right. Um, but it is truly a dying one. And well, I know uh, myself just coming to these meetings, the bigger ones, uh, it's been an inspiration to see the work that you know all the other members do. It makes me want to go home and continue to do it. Well, I've been tying knots for well, 40 odd years. Yeah. If you're going to take the Boy Scouts as well, yeah. then we're talking about 50, 55 years, because I'm now right. 61. Yeah. And I've always had a passion for knots. I yeah. really have had a passion for yeah. knots. And I will never, ever get tired of it. You keep learning. And after these meetings, I also go home, like you're saying, and right. have that inspiration to start tying knots again. Right. The time that I've been in the Guild now, 13 years, I've only ever missed one of the guild meetings, and that was because I was in America, actually. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> but then that, that was just one of the, yeah. the, the the problems there. And this year, I'll, it will be my second one that I'd ever miss, but I don't class it as being missed because I will be on the American side of the That's water. Right. Representing the, the... AGM as the president over there on, yeah. on that particular one. So well. I haven't really missed it. I think it's going to be very, very interesting. I think so too. Well, thanks for your time. You're more than welcome. Bye-bye. Thanks. Sir. Well, there you have it, my peek into the International Guild of Knot Tires. I hope you enjoyed this presentation as much as I've enjoyed putting it together for you. You know, the only thing that's missing from these pictures is you. If you're not a member of the Guild already and you're interested in becoming a good knotter, I suggest that you join. You'll get their publication, Naughty Matters, four times a year. It's very, very interesting. It's chock full of everything that has to do with knots and what's going on in the knot world. You'll meet many, many other knotters. You have a chance to go to these meetings like I have, meet the people I've met, and see all these wonderful exhibits. And perhaps you'll get excited and inspired enough to put on an exhibit of your own. In the next couple of slides, I've prepared information on how to contact the Guild through their website and learn about how to join. There's also information there on how to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you for joining me here on the Marlin Spike Networks. We'll see you next time.